Hi everyone. So in this particular video, we'll see how to import an Excel file to a Microsoft project window. So for that, I have just created a very small sample file. If you see import sample, I'll open this and I have created just two columns, task name and duration. If you want to add some other columns, like you want to show predecessors, then your successors, then your actual cost, your baseline cost, percentage complete, resources and so on. You can add any number of columns here and you can add any number of rows here. We just need to import this. So I have created a very small dummy project. Okay, so we'll go back to our Microsoft project window and to import from Excel, you need to go to this file tab and here you will see one option called as new from Excel workbook. So when you will click there, you need to search for the folder where you have saved your file. I have saved that particular file in MSP. So when I click this, you will see that no items match your search is visible. Why? Because the format that I have chosen right now is XML format. So whatever files are of XML format will only be displayed here. So you need to click on the Excel workbook format. And now you will see all the Excel files that you have stored in this particular folder are now visible. So my file name is import sample. I'll click on open. So when I click on open, you will see one wizard opens. I need to just click on next. So it will ask you whether you want to create a new map or an existing map. If you have already done something, then you can use the existing map. But for me, for me, this is new. So I will go with the new map. I click on next. Now see whether you want to import this file as a new project or you want to append the data. That means you want to add the data or you want to merge the data into the active project. Okay, what all you want, you can choose. But for me, I want to create a new project from this. So I'll click on next. Okay, now see, you want to import the task. You want to import, see, we only created some five tasks. We did not go for creating any resources. If you want to add one more sheet into Excel, you can add that sheet with resource name and resource uh, information. So I'm only going for the task. Whether you want to import the head, uh, headers also, Yes, definitely we want to see what all headings are there because with, without which we won't be able to recognize or identify anything. We'll go on next. So now you see source worksheet name. It is asking the name of the worksheet in the Excel from where you want to import. So we only created one sheet, which is sheet one. So you will see the Excel fields are visible and the Microsoft project fields are visible. I created two fields. One is task name, another is duration. Duration, this particular MSP is able to map because this is same as the name that we use in Microsoft project window, but task name, it is unable to map because the identity of this particular column that we use here is I think name, you will have to go with the name element here. Okay. E, where is name? You just need to find name here. So here is the name. Okay. So you can see the preview also here. Like it will be the name and it will be the duration here, task name and duration. If you want to move something up and down, you can use these particular arrows and these changes will be reflected here. Okay. That's all. I don't want to add anything else. We can go to next and we are ready to go. We can now click on finish. So once you click on finish, you can see all the tasks that you created along with the duration has got imported. By default, the task mode is chosen as I think uh, this is uh, manually scheduled. You can see here if you want to change it to a schedule, you can go to file in the options. You can change this. Okay. Then apart from that, these bars are also visible. You have not created any relationships. That is why there are no relationships that are shown here. So this is how you can import a file that you create in Excel as a project in your MSP. When and where this particular feature will be useful is when you have so many activities that you have in Excel. Suppose you want, uh, suppose client has given you some Excel format, you want to import it into uh, MSP, then you can go for this particular feature. Okay. So that's all for this video. Thank you everyone.